For many years, StarCraft 2 players have been told that macro and mechanics are all that matter in StarCraft 2. The bigger army wins. This is usually true unless there is a big skill gap. Today I'm going to be testing to see if I can beat Grandmaster level players with literal Silver League macro. I'm going to be playing Archon mode with an actual Silver League player and let them do all of the macro. I won't coach them, I won't tell them what units to build and I will just use the units I have at my disposal. The true authentic Silver League macro experience. We're going to start by playing against a Gold League player. If we win we'll play against a Platinum, then against a Diamond and so forth. Where do you think we're going to lose our first game? Let's find out. All right, here we go, guys. The map is Oceanborn, and to be honest, I'm a little nervous here. I've, I've seen my girlfriend play before. My girlfriend is silver slash gold, so I know roughly what to expect from the macro, but it's still, it's going to be very interesting to see how many units I get. Now, one thing that I'm going to do, or not do rather, is hotkey my buildings, because I do know... I could also, actually, I could distract my opponent because I don't have to do any macro. Uh, I'm not going to hotkey the builders because I know myself I will automatically make units. Now, my opponent or my teammate here. This is very confusing. I have teammates now, but it's not a 2v2. My teammate here is Silver League and from Australia, which means there's a lot of ping involved. So that's maybe going to make the macro even harder. Now, obviously, I'm going to be the one uh, doing the micro here. So we'll see. So we're going to go for a nice guess first, okay? Dude, I'm so interested to see what's going to happen. The first thing I think... Oh, the creature is still here. Did you guys know they're going to remove this thing, by the way? Dude, I get to do so much more sightseeing like this. This is crazy. Maybe all my videos should just be Arc. I'm actually going to remove this thing because it's too distracting, which I totally understand. Yo, just saying, guys, so far the macro is clean. Ah, we did lose five minerals here. That was the first minus point. We did lose five minerals putting it into the gas. Well, so, so, so far, so far we're doing a good job. I know there's some people out there that are saying like, macro is easy. Everyone can do this. But trust me, guys, people best are making SEVs a lot. Okay, I've done a lot of coaching. Now, to be fair, whenever I coach people, they tend to be a little more nervous. Okay, second barracks. All right. Now, I told you guys, I'm not going to coach my, my teammate here. I'm not going to, you know, say what should be built uh, because then I would kind of go away from that Silver League macro. But I did say before, the game that it would be nice or useful to give me units that i can micro such as reapers so i wouldn't be surprised if this is a three racks reaper now now so far yeah i'm just seeing like some very small uh, macro mistakes here not getting an orbital might be a big big deal uh, i guess it is easier if you don't have to launch mules oh the first reaper is on the way let's go now i was thinking maybe i should not be one production facility of each so i can actually see what's building now i do have to say guys and not trying to be like disrespectful or anything, but this Reaper is a properly timed Reaper. And in my experience, sometimes I can win the game with just this one guy. So I, I hope that my Gold League opponent here, Cuckoo, is going to be prepared. Oh, let's be Okay, for a second. Dude, I always hotkey these things in automatic, so I need to make uh, sure that I don't. Now, what are my own expectations for this video, actually? I'm not even sure. I, I kind of thought we would probably lose to the diamond player i think that we we're probably gonna uh wait is that another unit oh it's a marine oh no i can't really use that to micro uh probably gonna beat the gold and the platinum at least i, I would hope so but uh, going up against the platinum would be hard now i would like to check the natural but i also don't want to lose my reaper all right so I, I got a marine okay so i have two reapers and two. this is quite the force i'm getting here guys two two reapers and two marines normally i guess i would have probably three reapers by now but it's gonna be okay this is by the way you can't see it on under my camera but this is a very important thing when you play reapers and you make a marine on accident you can't f2 anymore because the reaper uh grenade ability is under the marine ability so here we go I'm good oh this is already gonna be pretty good for us now i don't have the mass reaper count that i can use to snowball this with but i can at least die, uh, deny this expansion for a little bit we're still on one base so i do definitely have to deny this for a good amount of time oh i'm gonna get more reapers now four reapers coming up i'm just gonna do a quick check here i think they're okay so he's probably gonna go for a hellions yeah hellions are gonna be slight oh wait it could be cyclones actually oh the new cyclone could be on the way Looks like we're expanding right now, so that's good. Definitely want to expand behind this pressure because against the Cyclone, uh, it's not 100% sure that I would be able to win the game here and staying on one base, that's obviously going to be quite... Oh, it's a Hellion. It's not a new Cyclone. That is really nice for us. Cuckoo's making a mistake here trying to save the natural, but the micro, I mean, Cuckoo does have better macro than us right now, probably, but the micro is not really going to be a competition here for me. And there we go. That is the first game done and dusted. Now, if that was a Cyclone, it would have been... Oh, no. Nah. 
<laughs> that's sad. No, even, even my macro teammate is supporting him. Yeah, it's true. You don't suck. I mean, it's 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 a gold league macro against Grandmaster. Hi, Grandmaster macro. And that is game number one. My teammate here, I am Cheryl, did a fantastic job. I do have to admit, I think my opponent was probably nervous. Maybe my teammate was also nervous or maybe not. But that is it for the gold league player. Let's move on to the platinum league. All right, game number two is going to be against a Platinum Protoss player. Now, I do want to think there, say there's a couple things about this challenge that, you know, they might change your opinion a little bit. So, for example, one thing I always thought and I always told my students as well is that no one... Dude, I love how I can just use my hands. Look, I'm not even not doing anything and I'm playing at the same time. Uh, but no one is, like, perfectly silver in every part of StarCraft. It's very likely that you're like low platinum in macroing and like high bronze in micro and i don't know mid silver in strategy stuff like that and my teammate did tell me uh that they really like macroing so this is the perfect you know silver league partner for me i suppose now we're gonna see her play against a platinum pros we're playing on the hard lead i do have a lot of extra time to just check out the map see what i have to be afraid of now my opponent already wanted to or my opponent. I'm, I'm going to say that the entire time. My teammate already wanted to get a little frisky. He wanted to uh, maybe go for like a proxy or something or switch it up. So now I'm curious to see what we're actually going to end up with. It is a gas first again. Uh, so that's always very notable. Wait, am I allowed to micro SEVs actually? I guess technically... Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll just do one. I don't want to cheat too hard. This is how you micro SEVs, by the way. Okay, another one. Here you guys go. I'll show you. You always want the SEVs. Yeah, might, might as well give some tips. You always want some SEVs on these good mineral patches over here. I wouldn't bother with that unless you really have enough APM to do that or unless you're playing Archon mode, of course. Uh, but it's just a small tip. The, the only time where I would recommend that you actually practice that is if you're doing proxies. Because if you're doing proxies, let's say you have two or three SCVs on the map, your mineral count is going to be quite low. And you can actually improve that by microing your SCVs properly. I mean, this mineral patch, you can see it's just further away. It's like you just get less money from that. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're going to go for a factory this time. Is it going to be properly placed? There we go. Um, I wonder what's going to be built from here. It's going to make a depot already too. There is a probe on the way. I guess I'm allowed to do this as well, right? Here we go. I'm j I just have my... <laughs> I, I would love to make a unit here, by the way, guys. Can we can we get a unit on the way, please? Like right now? I, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Okay, okay it's going to be a Reaper. Okay, I was waiting for enough gas. Oh, the surround? Yo, that's not even me. I promise, guys. That's, that's not even me. Oh my goodness. Crazy micro. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see. Still no orbital, by the way. If you're going to watch this video, which I'm sure you are, make your orbital as soon as the barracks finishes. Macro tip number one. Terran sucks without orbitals, okay? You need mules. We don't exist without mules. Uh, he, it's actually true. He's been watching my Protoss videos. He knows I love to harass. Okay, we're going to get a unit out here. What is this going to be? A tech lab. Um. Oh, yo, hey, that's, that's my unit. Stay on my unit. I was... Don't control my reaper. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's funny. It can't hear me, by the way, but still. Okay, this... I'm actually a little curious about this because we're making a tech lab and an armor... Oh, my God. What are we doing? Why is there an armory on the way? I, I thought we were going to make cyclones. Oh, need to go past her. It's a robo. Oh, we're playing against the robo. You can already tell that the macro situation is way better uh, for the protos here already. Robo plus battery, realizing we're on one base. But he is going to lose a lot of pros to this Reaper. Uh, I thought we were going to make cyclones. And I wasn't sure if my teammate knew you don't need a tech lab anymore, basically. Okay, I'm just going to use this little clip to micro. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. Yeah, this is the Grandmaster Micro, guys. This is what's hard to deal with. Like, macro-wise, we're not looking super hot compared to him. Command Center just started and his next is already finished. But we already killed five probes here, guys, which is absolutely massive. There we go. Do I have another unit? I do have another Reaper as well. Now, I suppose we're going to be building, like, a Thor or maybe, like, Widow Mines with... Uh, drilling claws or just cloaked because of the armory. All right, let's go into main base. I, I think, by the way, if you're in this challenge, like, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do another one. Maybe I will. But, uh, so it's a little bit of a tip that's not going to help anymore. Oh, that sounds like a supply block. Yeah, we got supply blocks on the door. I could hear it. Uh, but I would just make a blind battery in each base because... If you're like the, the gold player, honestly, the macro seemed relatively similar, but here the macro already does seem a lot better from the Protoss player than uh, on our side. So I would just make a couple batteries in each base, or well, one battery here, one battery here, and maybe an extra one, just so you can defend the attacks a little easier. I do really love the wall, by the way. Like, this seems uh, oh, there's an immortal. Uh, I'm not sure. This is this is kind of scary here. We're going for Thor's, but I'm, I'm, I'm going up against an immortal here. Now, you can't. Oh, I'm going to kill the Adept as well. 
At, at least we're getting value out of the Reaper, guys. That's 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 really good. Let's see. Is the Immortal still here? Hey, is, is he not defending the main with that? Pro probably does want to defend the main with that. Let's see. There might be one Stalker. Can I kill the Stalker? No, probably not. Let's see. If he doesn't target... Oh, I'm going to lose one. That's unfortunate. All right. A Thor drop it is. Here we go. Let's see what I can do with... Uh, this is not the, my, my conventional choice of harassment against Protoss, I'll be honest. But let's see what we can do with it. Immortal still here. Wait, is that a... Oh, that's an observer. For some reason, my, my mind just tripped and I thought it was a stasis or something. Oh, I have a bear. I have them hotkeyed. I need to hotkey stuff over it before I start making units on accident. N now I'm scared that I already did because I know how automatically I can do those things. Okay, so this is my next play. Let's see what's going on here. We're going for another Thor drop. I mean, I do like that I have units to harass with. That's great. I'm going to drop this one. Uh, Protoss player is inevitably going to panic and pull the Immortal back. And then the Reapers are going to start attacking the Natural. That's the plan. Let's see how many probes can we kill. I think... Oh, even using the probes. I don't like that by the Protoss player. He's going to lose so many probes for his. Yeah, the F2 has indeed commenced, just like I said. And now we're going to kill a couple more with this. Wait, I'm gonna if there's no other unit, I can literally just stay here. Yo, these Reapers are popping off as well. There is an Observer over here. For the Immortal, I do not want to fight. I'll send it back home to be repaired. Oh my god, he's losing so many throws to these Reapers. These Reapers, how many kills did these have? These, oh no, the Reaper with high kills already died. I think my Reapers in total, guys, already have about 20 kills, which is crazy. He didn't realize that I was harassing the Natural as well. But can I escape with these? Probably not. Maybe if he's F2ing over here, I could still get a jump up. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right, I'll send this one back. I do have another Thor for me to use. Looks like we're going for mech against protoss with the double armory which is i mean it is totally my jam but it is definitely very wild now what i'm scared of here is that we're not going to have enough units on the defense because the i mean the attacks are clearly paying off like we have 38 workers i think my opponent probably has 26 i'm gonna say exactly 26 but if he attacks us with a couple of immortals am i allowed to repair i guess i am right uh, I mean, or, or not. <laughs> I mean, I, sometimes I forget that I'm doing my challenges, guys, with my own rules. Looks like we are being attacked, because I feel like otherwise the units would be here. There's one immortal still here. Let's see, is there anything else to here? It doesn't look... Okay, there's another immortal. Yeah, then we're good. Now, there's a lot of gateways here. I, I would love... If we started picking tanks right now, I would love the situation. Oh, we're going to go for banshees with speed. You know, I, I... Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, by the way. Is that this must be really comfortable for my teammate. Just being able to macro knowing that your units are going to be microed really, really well. You don't have to do anything about it. Like, just macro. Like, the, the money is really not bad, guys. Our supply is not that high, to be fair. I mean, we did open with a Thor drop, so that's kind of logical. Uh, but normally, you probably want, like, about 120 supply at this point. So it's not that high, but the money is staying low, uh, which is really, really good. Now, it seems like we're... Wait, can I beat that in a one-on-one? -on -one? Maybe once the thing wears off. Let's see. Actually, well, no, I've never seen this before. Do I win? Yo, I win, I think. At least I think I was winning. Let's kill two more probes. There we go. Man, these Thors are just popping off. I got some more units coming up as well. I hear one more Thor. There we go. I don't think I want to use the Banshees yet. I'm probably going to keep those as a surprise for later. Going to get a double Thor drop. Do I want to repair this one? I don't think so. Let's see. What are we doing now? More factories. Okay, that's good. Double. Actually, the double starport here? It's really not that crazy because our opponent's probably just going to be spamming Immortals against the Thors, right? And then the Banshees could totally pop off. Look at the saturation. Not that bad. Always want to saturate your gases instantly, by the way, playing mech. Always a really big thing to do. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Then when he's going to pull the units back... Uh, oh, wait. Did you see that outrange? That was not even intentional outranging that. Okay, that's multiple Immortals. I'm going to back off for that. Let's see. If he only has one here... Uh, yeah, he's definitely not. A, yeah, I definitely think he definitely F2. But he wasn't expecting all these Thor jobs. Here we go. We're doing so much freaking damage with these. This is insane. Okay, let's go back in here now. Looks like there's a couple immortals over here. Yeah, he does have a lot of immortals. I think it's at, yeah, it's at least four now. Here we go. I'm going to be able to kill this as well. Yeah, you see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Remember what I said that you have to saturate the gases instantly? This is what happens when you play mech without. You just end up having, you know, to put down random command centers and mass turrets and stuff to actually spend your money. Could be a good moment for me to use... Nah, I'm going to wait for the next... Yeah, because we're going to we're gonna get five banshees after this. I'm going to wait for that. Let's see. Is he going to move out now? It looks like he wants to move out. I could, I could always snipe the observer as well. Maybe I should just boost in. 
Mm, nah, this is a good enough distraction. Yeah, I feel like these five ba Oh no, it's Medivacs. Oh, I thought it was going to be Banshee. Actually, Medivacs are pretty chill too. Guess I'll just take all of these. Why not? We'll do a little bit of a mech doom drop and then uh, let's see if we get more Banshees on the way. We don't have enough money for all the Banshees though. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a base trade. If my opponent wants to attack me, we'll base trade him. That sounds like a vibe. Let's see. Okay, so the gases are saturated now. That's really good. Oh, the benches are spotted. Well done. Sending. That's a really good move, by the way. Sending out small units. That's always a sign of good mental clarity while playing. Sending out small units to scout around the map. Now, let's see. What do I... I think it's four... Yeah, it's four Thors and two tanks. Now, we don't have Banshee speed. That's a little bit of a shame. That would have been really nice to get Banshee speed as well. Let's see what we have here. If it's just a couple Immortals, we will own it. This is like a mech doom drop. Reminds me of the series I did. I kind of forgot that I did that series. Mech drops to Grandmaster. Now, we're already going to go up to four and five bases here. 149 supply. Uh, I do think... I, yeah, I want to dust this too many Immortals. I want to run away from this. That base almost going to go down as well, by the way. And now the Banshee show. Yeah, our opponent... Okay, did it. This this is a little... I, I do not approve of this, okay? I'm, I'm not looking. This is not me, guys. I am not building... <laughs> I am not building a command center in my opponent's third base right now, okay? That is not me, guys. I promise. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to kill the main now. And I think this, after this amount of damage, that pretty much signifies the end here. I don't have... Do I have an army to win yet? Yeah, it looks like we're... Yeah, okay. Do we have upgrades? We have 1-1 one, one upgrades. I now have 8 Thors in Medivacs, by the way, which is absolutely incredible. And, by the way, this is just going back to the point I mentioned earlier. If we don't take your gases in time, you look at the resource ratio. It looks normal. It's because we just didn't have enough gas earlier. Okay, it looks like we're going to be headed for a base trade here, which I am uh, very happy in. Because I am allowed to use these... Def it, it feels like I'm only allowed to attack, but obviously I'm allowed to defend with my units as well. So I guess I'll just siege over here. I'll put these up. And now I just hope my teammate is actually going to be building units because he has as many Immortals as I have Thors. I mean, I definitely have a stronger army here, but it would be more comfortable if uh, we got some tanks up on the high ground over here. Okay, I'm going to siege these a little bit further back, get the Widow Mine in range as well. I guess I'll use the SCVs to defend. There we go. I'm just going to do some target fire on these Immortals. Widow Mine is actually popping off. Yeah, these Immortals are getting quite low. I have a, a Thor here as well that I could probably save. This Thor is going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Let's see, I just need to keep microing it. Okay, pull it back. There we go. We got more units slowly finishing as well. Like, I, I only just learned that you can outrange Immortals with Thors, by the way. Like, I feel like I've never, ever tried that before in my life. And it just happened randomly, so that was pretty funny. Gonna snipe this Zealot, then I'm gonna get closer with my next Thor. Our opponent's also very likely to be eliminated, by the way. That Immortal's gonna die. There's not that much left over here. Oh, I can probably see she's in range too. Oh, I'm gonna lose that one. But there's not enough units, and we have done it. The Platinum player has been defeated by Mass Thor Drops. And I do have to say, guys, here you can tell that it's gonna be really difficult for the next game, because if you look at all the damage I did... In the end, we had no money and 130 supply. Like, I would say it is definitely still in the category of convincing victories. But it was really not easy. So the next one against a diamond player, I'm a little bit scared. But let's do it. The third opponent is going to be a diamond zerg player. I really wanted to get a variety of the races as well. So here we go. And to be honest... Besides being the most difficult league yet, obviously, I also think Zerg is going to be the most difficult for this challenge because Zerg, or in particular TVZ, I should say, maybe not necessarily PVZ, but Terran versus Zerg, is just very macro and mechanics based. Like, it's more speed based than any other matchup in the game, I think. So if we're not going to have enough units, that's going to be very, very, very tough for us to make work. And yeah, I definitely don't think that going for fast Thor drops is going to be the play here, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're playing on side Delta. I did make sure for my poor teammate to not host one of the absolutely broken Zerg maps because some of the maps look so freaking massive and I would just feel bad to make my teammate play on one of those, to be honest. No, wait, maybe I should put some camera hotkeys though. I, I haven't really thought about it. Like, it's really just... I, I wanted to do this challenge for a while. It's not like I thought, like, super deeply about the rules or anything. But obviously, I am allowed to micro the SEVs, right? Like, if I get attacked by Lynx or something. Like, I just didn't think about it at all. I just thought, like, I'll do everything on the other side of the map. But technically, I should be able to. So maybe I should actually just put some camera hotkeys so I can... I don't know, uh, help against Ling run or something. Now, we're going to play Gas first again. Okay. Now, I, I, I still don't know because so far we, do, we did gas first every single game. So, I, you know, normally I would maybe have a little bit of a read on this. Usually if you go gas first, you're always going to go Hellions, for example. Uh, but here, maybe we're going to go Reapers. Uh, who knows? Let's see. All right, let's do a little bit of SCV micro, guys. In the last game, I did, I did two SCVs. 
So against a diamond player, I should be allowed to do three SUVs. There we go. Well, actually, there's not that much to micro because there's already two on all the good mineral patches. There you go. You know, you can do it very beautifully if you're doing a proxy reaper where you only have eight SUVs on the minerals. Because then you, you could have literally all these four mineral patches completely empty. Looks very cool, to be honest. And I remember back in the day uh, when I was still competing, sometimes I would watch a game of a pro player that wouldn't micro the SUVs and everyone would always watch in like disgust. Like, oh my God, how is this guy better than me? <laughs> Not even microing the SUVs. All right, so we are on one gas for now. Let's see, is it a Reaper or a factory? Okay, we're going to go for a Reaper first. I do like that. Let's just put the rally right over here. We're going to go for a wall off as well. Once again, no orbital. I'm sure the orbital problem is going to be fixed after this video. Like I, I've mentioned in every game, definitely that's going to be a, a first step to fix. You know what I always say, guys? If you find a lot of mistakes or recurred mistakes, it's actually a very good thing instead of a bad thing because it's it's something that's very easy to fix to just press, you know, the B button when your barracks finishes. Like it's not super complicated, so that's actually a nice mistake to have. Like sometimes you have those games where you lose and you have absolutely no idea why. It's I feel like that's a little tougher. So we're gonna go for a second Reaper instead of the Reactor. Okay, Reactor could have been nice for Hellions. I think for us to have a chance here against the Diamond Zerg, I definitely need at least some Hellions because else dealing with Zerglings is just too hard. Like if you're gonna open with Marines instead of building Hellions, it's yeah, it's just gonna be a nightmare to play against Zerglings. Already gonna kill one Zergling here from the start. That is nice. Here we go. Probably a hatch first, right? Yep, looks like we are playing against the hatch first. So that, yeah, that's a six-ling opener as well. So one less drone. Now, this is always a really good feature for Terran on uh, on new maps when the ramp leads into the mineral line because then you can just kite back up the ramp instead of having to run down here. Now, here I want to be careful because the circlings were up there, right? There we go. And now I want to check if he has a third base. Looks like we're making both Hellions and Reapers now. That's quite nice. Okay, this is going to be a pretty fun squad. Four, what is that? Four, or yeah, two, two Reapers and one Hellion, and then probably going to switch over, or two and two. There's no third base yet. Okay, he's trying to take it, but we're going to be able to deny it. This, this is really good for us, by the way. If you're in this position in a normal TVZ, you're freaking happy, because we can just take a third base now, technically, right? It, that's that's what you usually do in pro play. You go for very fast third CCs against Zerg. And this Zerg won't be able to take it until the creep spread arrives or until I mess up, which is also possible. Okay, we're going to switch over. I mean, th this this is looking good so far. Like, the, the macro is definitely looking good. The mule hasn't been dropped yet, but that's okay. And let's see, at 3.45, or maybe at 4 minutes, I'm going to scout, I think. Wait, there's nothing here. Okay, are we just going to produce a lot of Zerglings? I'm going to be able to kill a lot of these. Probably gonna have to. Well, speed is gonna. No, okay. I was gonna say I would. I would love to stick around, but speed is gonna finish soon. Uh, and I do have to back off. I want to go into the main with the Reaper, so I'm gonna sacrifice the Reapers here. Here we go. You know, in in some ways, this is kind of harder for me to play because I don't have my production hotkey, so I don't even really know when my units are gonna finish. Like I, I know it sounds stupid, but for me, these games are actually harder to play than normal games. Okay, so we're gonna take a lot of gas very early. Maybe that means we're gonna play mech. Probably not the most uh, efficient unit for me to micro with. Mech units are not usually very micro heavy. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think my, my opponent is being smart about it, though. What the opponent's doing uh, is just stay or making a lot of queens and a lot of creep and making sure he has enough Zerglings to kill my Hellions. But he's not really managing so far. He's taking a lot of damage. And now I might be able to deny the third again. Yeah, I'm going to deny it again. Okay. I mean... When it comes to the attacks, we're doing fine. I don't think I want to YOLO in because he's just been producing Zerglings all the time. Okay, let me kill that queen. I mean, if the, if the other queens aren't going to come down, this could be good for us. I want to make sure I'm not near the eggs uh, when the eggs hatch, though. Let's see. It could be roaches for... Oh, it's drones? No, it's... What? No, you're attacking your own queen, my friend. That is not what you want to be doing. He attacked his own queen, and he's making drones instead of circlings. Okay, he does have a lot of energy on that one queen, so I want to be a little bit more scared. Let's see. The other queen doesn't have a chance to use. If he doesn't run that one away, he's going to lose another queen. There we go. Now, this is not necessarily game-ending damage with the macro that is behind it, but it is looking really good. I I mean, there's still no third base here. Oh, we're going to go battle cruisers. Oh, I love that, actually. That is a fantastic idea. Guys, I have to be honest here. Uh, we don't have SUVs on our natural, which kind of sucks. But with the amount of damage I'm doing, it's starting to feel really good. And I really didn't think I would need a Masters player for this video. But the way it's looking... We might actually need a Masters player here because this is going very, very well. Oh, he's making spines. Okay. Wait, mm, that could mean that we're going up against... Okay, so there are the roaches, right. I was going to say maybe it's two base Muta, but it is just going to be roaches instead. I mean, one BC will win the game if he didn't rebuild those queens. We've killed a lot of queens here. I think we killed... 
as I want to say like three or four queens and there's no third hatch producing queen. So one PC you could actually just end the game. And this is a really good strategy. I love this. I really love this strategy. I, I feel like this must be uh, for a player like my teammate. This must be a dream if you're like a macro fan because they can just do all the macro and then just having me, you know, executing their strategies the way they would like to see it. I think it was actually pretty awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bait. The battle cruiser is going to finish just in time. I'm going to bait the roaches. The roaches are going to come over. And then I'm going to teleport the BC behind the roaches. I'm also going to kill this base, by the way. Here we go. Oh, he's just going to go for it. I think it might... No, wait. He was making spines, right? Yeah. I was going to say maybe I should go for a run by, but he was making a couple spines. So I'm just going to keep my advantage here for now. Let's see how many of these units I can kill. I mean, so far, this has been... An, I feel like I mean, in the last game, too. These are just absolute torturous games for our opponents. Let's see. He's probably going to be making a couple spores. Doesn't have a transfuse for that. Yeah, two spores is going to deter the battle cruiser. But if he loses the queens already, that's going to be so painful. I don't think I want to fight the spore yet. Okay, I saw his units go across the map so the BCs can defend that. And I can run by uh, with this one. Like, I don't think... He has spines, but I don't think he has them in the main, to be honest. So this is going to be super nice. Here we go. I'm going to teleport that over there. He's He's gonna lose every single drone here he's probably gonna try to make spines let's see where are those roaches right now i haven't seen the roaches yet did he maybe f2 them back on accident or so the roaches should be here by now i believe guys oh no he pulled them back for the hellions i believe that is not really what you want to be doing here he needed to do damage he's gonna lose even more drones now and he already doesn't have a lot here we go man these drones are being absolutely toasted you can tell that the macro is it's it's slipping a little bit guys i saw 50 other minerals there the macro is definitely slipping a little bit but with the amount of damage i'm doing i don't think it matters if there was a nidus with this or like 10 corruptors on the way then it would be problematic. This is an incredible amount of roaches, but they're just going to get tickled down by the Batacruz. And there is three PCs here, guys. This is going to be incredibly painful. And it looks like we are heading to Master League already. Now, don't, don't, don't tell me I'm going to have to wake up a Grandmaster, guys. That would just be... That would just not be all right. Now, you can tell the macros... That, what I think is going on here, guys, I think my teammate is enjoying the show, to be honest, because the macro is slipping. Now it's slipping extra, but I think they're just enjoying the show for now, or maybe they just have no idea what to do after this. Yeah, we, we are just about to lose... What is that? Four? Five? I think we're going to lose... Yeah, we lost six workers for, I think, like, what was that, like, 20 roaches or something? Another matter... Oh, my God, guys, I feel bad. Maybe I should kill my own command center just like as vengeance for these these dirty manor command centers, you know. Now, normally I think it would be a decent decision to teleport across, but I don't know if the spire is finished. So even though we have a massive advantage here, I'm just going to be playing it safe. Because if I teleport in on top of three spores and there's 10 corruptors, the BCs cannot teleport back. And I might lose a couple BCs and that's bad. Like I, If I was macroing behind this myself, obviously I'd be more comfortable in just going for it. But here, uh, I, I want to take it a little bit easier to be honest. Like I don't quite want to just YOLO everything across yet. So we're going to go more starports. At this point, I would normally be building turrets, by the way. I feel like the only thing that we could really lose to at this point is uh, yeah, just like a million corruptors basically uh, attacking us or maybe even mutas flying into the base even though he doesn't have enough money to make enough mutas so turrets would be nice this base is also misplaced which is probably gonna annoy a couple uh, people uh, <laughs> not me of course i would never be annoyed at my teammates and now we're gonna go ahead and kill the land wait did he actually finally get his third base up no way right did i let him get his third up oh no okay oh we did let him get his third up okay that's the slight mistake by me sorry teammate my teammate's carrying, guys. I'm the one making the mistakes here. All right, that base is going to die. This, the Corruptor is going to finish, which means there is a Spire, but I I really doubt he can have enough money. He wasn't mining from this before. It's not mining gases. He doesn't even have a lair anymore. Uh, this is going to be the last base for me to kill as well. Like, he has a couple Corruptors. Yeah, like I said, definitely not going to be enough. Couple Yamato is going to take care of the most of those. And there we go. GG has been called. And with Silver League Macro, we have just destroyed a Diamond League Zerg player. Which is pretty crazy. I really thought this was super hard. The units loss is disgusting. Now, that is obviously something we would expect. Five times the units lost almost exactly. Uh, because the micro is going to be good. But if the right units are built, guys, I don't even need enough of them, apparently. And this is, it's very, very cool to see. Because I, like, sometimes I would look. You would have, tw you know, 2,000 minerals, which could literally be 20 more Hellions. But still, with the right micro, with the right outplays, with realizing what I have and what the opponent has, I don't actually need that many units. And even though I really expected this video to stop at Diamond League, let's go for a Masters League player. All right, game number four is against a high Master Protoss player. Now, this... 
has to be the last game, I I think. I mean, I don't know. The, the MMR jumps between the games were always very steady. I think every game, the MMR jumped up by about 500. I think it was something like 2400 and 2900 and 3400. I think this player is 4900 MMR. So he's, he's basically bordering Grandmaster. I think if he has enough games uh, in the right time, he would he would pretty much get a road at the Grandmaster. So it is what it is, guys. A high Master Protoss. I mean, if he win this, then maybe I'll just challenge the world champion or something or maybe we'll just go ahead and win a tournament as an archon oh i already see a little bit of nerves kicking in there that was uh, an early gas first missing an scv earlier than normal we can't get nervous now this is this is the big game now we are playing on this map again so we can look at the beautiful squid monster thingy there's uh, always some nice entertainment guys now let's see so it is a very early gas first yeah i wonder where we're going with this one so i think even against the platinum protos player i realized that it was going to be quite difficult but then the platinum protos player was just a, a little bit too much dragging his army around all the time so he was never in position for my drops a high master protos player should do way better so personally i think i need to pray that my teammate oh i just wait am i supposed to do that i don't think so that was you saw how automatic that was no, I just micro the SCPs anyway. Got it. You see, they're they're not, they're not on their blocks, guys. There we go. But I think against high master Protoss players, we need to do something early. Like I think there's no way that the Silver League macro is gonna keep up. Okay, I'll I'll take care of this. Don't worry. This would be very annoying to deal with if it was, uh, you know, I'm not allowed. Oh, okay, that wasn't me, guys. Promise, that wasn't me. I, it's really funny because I always call that. Actually, I moved this SCP. So I should move it back. I always call that the bronze move. <laughs> now I'm playing with a silver teammate and he's like yes get the pro and it's really funny because my teammate is silver my opponent is high master the opponent probably hasn't seen that move in years because no one does that so he was probably like hmm? <laughs> what just happened where my pro go okay so we're gonna get a reaper first of all that this is I feel like maybe even the most important thing in this entire game that I just get a reaper in time now, one thing, by the way, the Reaper, I, I did uh, make a mistake talking in the first game, I think. Reapers can actually be faster if you just play barracks first. Like, barracks first, Reapers are faster than gas first. So, uh, the first game I didn't, or in the past few games or any of the games, I haven't gotten the fastest Reaper. But most of the time, it's fast enough. Now, I really like that we're on one base here, I have to say. Like, this is the kind of strategy that we just have to do, I think. Let's see, what are we going to have? Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, Cyclones. We're going to be able to play with the Cyclone a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to YOLO in the scout here. Twilight, oh, I'm really happy I went for the scout. You can already tell that the positioning of the units and stuff uh, is already very good by the opponent. It already looks a lot stronger. That is not a Reaper Cliff, though. So that's, a, I think that's an advantage I'm getting from playing on uh, the new maps here. Here we go. Uh, the, you know, use that shade so I can attack this for free. I'm gonna be able to kill one probe already. And this is, I feel like for a long time, I talked about winning the game with my first Reaper uh, when I would play against like maybe like gold league players for example right and most people were like wait that's not possible like how how on earth would he do that now this is a high master player and you can already tell what my reapers are doing to him like it's just it's very unpleasant playing against these things guys trust me <laughs> I, i've seen it many a time as that his reaper is going to survive and now i'm going to get a super early cycle this cycle is going to be perfect a cycle is super good against the depths it's possible that my opponent's not super well versed yet on the new patch uh, and these cycles absolutely destroy your depths here we go the first step is gonna die instantly. Yo, this is a massive moment here, guys. Here we go. He's making a battery, though. So definitely not gonna be able to push through right. Wait, did he make three adepts? I think he might have made three adepts. Can I lock onto that? Yeah, I can. Oh my god, we're gonna depower it. This is a fantastic start, guys. I wonder what my opponent's gonna have to uh, defend this in the end. Okay, so the pylon's gonna die. That's absolutely massive. The Reaper's taking care of the probes, and they're not attacking the Cyclone. The Cyclone is just gonna be killing these adepts. Okay, he does have a Stalker now. For the Stalker, we do have to run. You can tell the Cyclone does have very low HP, right? But I have another one on the way. I think I can probably kill this with the Reapers, guys. Oh no, that battery finishing just in time, and GG. Oh, oh, he wasn't making a single... Well, he did have a warp gate. Hmm. I'm I'm not 100% sure about this GG timing. He had the battery, guys. I I think he GG'd a little bit too early, to be honest. Like, this game was actually not over. Like, I know these cyclones look good. Did, nothing was going to die under this battery. He would have been able to warp a couple stalkers. And I think this was more of a frustration quit than anything else. Losing to the Silver League macro and... And now I feel desperate. Do, do, do I really have to find a Grandmaster to show us what's good? Do I really have to do that now? We just beat a Masters player who is basically Grandmaster, but we didn't really. But I guess as long as the streak is going on, we have to continue. So I guess 
It's time to get Grandmaster. <laughs> All right, here we go. The final game of the video. And we actually found a really good Grandmaster. Top 100 Grandmaster, 5.5k MMR random player. Which is probably going to make it harder for my teammate, actually. Because so far, the strategies have been quite good. Like the Hellions against Zerg, the Cyclones against Protoss. The strategies have been good. We're playing against the random, so... I'm not quite sure. Maybe, maybe I'll just steal an SCV to scout with at some point or something. It's got to be fine, right? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do extra micro. Instead of remembering to do the SCV micro one minute in, I'll do it right away. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? I see you. Please control. Where is it going? <laughs> are we scouting? <laughs> I, guess, I guess we are. <laughs> Scout. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a very early scout, but sure. I mean, it's, it's probably it's probably a little too early, but I, I get it. I think my, my teammate really wants to do those specific strategies, right? I'm uh, gonna go for the gas first again. This time the gas first was later than normal, so uh, I don't, the timings are definitely fluctuating a little bit. Now, okay, let's see what we can find here. Is it a Zerg? It is a Zerg. Okay. Zerg, there we go. Then I guess I'll just send it back, else that would be... He's probably wondering what the hell is the SCV doing here, like, so early. This is, like, the earliest scout he's ever seen in his life, probably. <laughs> he's like, hmm? why is that there? Yeah, this is some SCV micro again. Gotta, gotta do everything we can, guys. This is a Grandmaster. I mean, this, this is a guy that could literally beat me if I'm playing normal on my own. So this is gonna... Be, I think it's gonna be very funny if we win. Now, what, what kind of strategy would I like to see? I think we need to do something, like, extremely cheeky again. Like, maybe, like, a... Like a Hellion Cyclone timing on the new patch, you know? If you guys haven't seen the new patch notes, uh, you kind of saw it in action a little bit in the last game, but the Cyclones are different. They're not necessarily better, but you can do some more extreme cheeses with them. So maybe some crazy one base double factory Hellion Cyclone could be very, very cool. I mean, as long as I get units to play with, I'm going to be pretty happy. I wonder if my opponent is going to be nervous at all. Like, I'll be honest, I messaged in my Discord, I messaged the channel of every rank a while ago. Besides Grandmaster, because I, I really thought there was 0% chance that I would ever need a Grandmaster here, to be honest. I mean, shout out to my teammate, of course. I am Serral. It's not, it's not actually Serral, by the way. In case anybody, I don't think anyone got confused, but in case anyone got confused, it's not actually Serral. Shout out to my teammate, I am Serral, because we have uh, been doing this together. Like, we are actually, you know, owning a lot of these guys. Uh, I'm a little salty about the last guy leaving, by the way, because he wasn't dead. And a player of that level should know that he wasn't dead. Okay, so this is going to be a little annoying, because he's in time to take the gas. Not you usually very good to just stand around and uh, shoot the gas because it's just a waste of, of time for the reaper rather go ahead and kill some zerglings zergling my already very good of course queen is gonna finish now i do wonder if this player has a main race he was i checked his profile his random was higher than all of his other races which is very cool i think all of his races individually were 5.2k roughly 5.3 but his random was 5.5 you don't see that a lot like an actual random player? That's very cool, I think. Don't you guys think? I think that's very cool. Okay, let's try to do some damage. Two Reapers shouldn't be able to get too much, but I can maybe damage the Queen. Okay, there's our extra links, huh? Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think the opponent thought we were playing two racks Reaper because of the second Reaper. Uh, so he's making extra links waiting for speed. Okay, that means I really need to get the Hellions a little sooner. If I don't get my Hellions soon, it's going to be a little scary. Oh, let me hold key my Reapers over the factory before I accidentally make units again. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I need to be a little more scared than normal. Let's see. Yeah, he's hiding the links. He was making more drones, though. That's actually a little bit of intel that we can't ignore. So now I have two Reapers, two Hellions. That is not so bad. I wonder what we're going to do after. I, I want to guess it's probably Battlecruisers again. I think Banshees would also be pretty fine. It's going to give me some more opportunity to uh, yeah, to micro, of course, and to harass. But I think it's probably going to be BCs again. Judging by how confidently he moved those queens, I want to say that he has enough links to, uh, to challenge this. Yeah, exactly. You can tell the link speed is already finished. I'm going to rally the Hellions over. No, I don't think I want to rally them in, in case he's going to go for a big run by. Let's see. No Fusion Crew being built yet. Now, it's really funny. If anything, this is harder for me because I'm also paying attention to what my teammates building you know like it's not even oh that's actually misplaced but okay there we go my teammate realized that's nice yeah, i'm gonna kill one of those drones rest of the hellions are gonna be chilling at home exactly what i predicted there is gonna be oh there's actually more than a couple links well lucky for us we didn't have that many uh, workers here yet so i guess i'll just oh, can i juke it no i barely couldn't juke it i'm sending my hellions back and that's gonna be pretty good but th this is already really good at but like you can tell uh this guy knows what he's doing he did stay around for a pretty long time though so he is gonna lose these zerg 
Earthlings. I do think it has something to do with the mind game a little bit. Like, I think the opponent definitely expected this to be a two rax Reaper uh, without Hellions. Uh, and thus, he's going to be losing uh, a lot of Earthlings here. Maybe it's time to do a run by. Is a run by a good idea? I think we, I think we lost about six SCVs or so, killed probably about 20 Zerglings. First battle cruiser should be built right now. Instant battle cruiser, very nice. We do have too much gas, but that's okay. And now if there's no roaches, I'm gonna go straight for a run by here. Let's see, mules are being dropped quite nicely, I have to say, not bad at all. Let's see, is there any links hiding here? Oh, I can kill a queen maybe if I get a grenade up. There we go. That's gonna be a queen down. He's gonna lose a couple zerglings as well. There are a lot more zerglings being built, so that is gonna make it a little tough. Let's see if I can do perfect micro. It doesn't look like it. Here, here is going to be really nice for us, though. Okay. I think it's barely going to lose. Oh, no, it's going to win. Let's go. <laughs> Very nice. I'm going to repair it quickly, though. Let's see. When is the battle cruiser going to finish? We have another Hellion over here. Oh, I'm going to kill a lot of links here. Our opponent made so many Zergling. He's going to lose so many of them. That is massive. He killed a lot of SCVs, but then uh, he made all those Zerglings and lost them, which is really, really big. Now, I'm going to get a battle cruiser. I would love it if we had an armory right now. Like, right now, I want to all in because our opponent is too good. I want to all in because our opponent is too good. I really wish we had an armory. I'm going to try bait a couple more units. Oh, this could be pretty good, actually. Okay, he doesn't have that many Zerglings anymore, looks like. Oh, this is a big run by, guys. Here we go. This is going to do so much damage. I think. Oh, those eggs barely finishing a couple Zerglings. That's painful for us. That's going to stop us in our tracks for a little bit. Here we go. Now, I don't think I want to go with the Battle Cruiser yet. Do I want to go? I guess I should probably, right? Here we go. I'm just going to send the Battle Cruiser in. There's only... What is that? He's making so many Zerglings. I, I, th I think he's kind of terrified, to be honest. He's like, I, I can't listen to a Silver League player. Make more links here. Now, we are going to kill the Spore, which is super nice. Yamato is probably on the way, right? Yeah, Yamato's on the way as well. Second DC. So that's nice. More Zerglings being built, even. Okay, as long as we keep making Hellions, uh, that's going to be uh, really good for us, I think. I'll keep them on the ramp. I don't think he has too many queens. Yeah, okay, this is going to be nice. I'll actually uh, move these away momentarily. Oh, no, I'm going to lose the BC because I was defending at home. Well, the op opponent didn't micro perfectly, to be honest. So we are barely going to get away, I think. 22 HP, oh my god. Okay, I was really trying to help my ally there with the defense. Uh, oh, I was pulling them back. Okay, well, maybe a few too many, but still pretty good. Battlecruiser is alive. We killed a couple Zerglings, but you can tell the macro game is getting really hard. Our opponent has this fully saturated. He's making upgrades as well, which is going to make it even tougher and to make it worse. I want to say the Spire is going to be almost finished, guys. The Spire might end this game. I've noticed that my teammate doesn't have, like, the proper setup, the proper, like, turrets, and maybe the transition as well into mines or marines, so... I don't know. When the Spire units finish, I think it's going to be very, very difficult. I also don't want to move out with with my Hellions because he has so many freaking Zerglings. He could just right click into the base at any moment. I'm going to use a few more to repair. Here we go. And then I'm going to try to go across with two. Uh, I really wish we were going for the armory. I, I think I... Am I allowed to scan? Probably, right? Let's see. Is the Spire here? Wait, there that's only one gas. I think I'm just going to go for it. Let's see. Is the Spire here? Oh, he's going for Hydras. That is, that is actually good for us. Hydras are not good against battle cruisers, guys. Well, Hydras did get buffed, so maybe I shouldn't say that out loud. Hydras are definitely better now than before. Uh, but in general, not the best against BCs. There we go. I'm going to kill a good amount of units with those, uh, with the Hellions, I mean. And now I can start killing his drones again. Probably go for the Spore because it's undefended. Guys, it is so good for us that he's going for Hydras. Like, I know the Hydras are strong, but the Hydras are just worse than than Spire units here. Look at these Hydra. Hydras can get kited by BCs, by the way. Like, you can just shoot them while flying away. Let's see if he's gonna lose a queen. That would be so nice. Good micro beam so far. We do have a battle cruiser on the way, but not a third one ready yet. Oh, wait, he could go for a big attack. A, a, a really good option right now would be Blue Flame, by the way. It's really funny. It's like I'm talking to my teammate, but I'm not. I'm just saying, you know. Blue Flame Hellions would be insane here. Let's see. Is that... Oh, it's an engineering bay. Okay, good choice normally. Let's see if I can get a couple of these Hydras off the field. There we go. Another Hydra down. I do think he's gonna have... Oh, we're making Cyclones. Okay, interesting. I, I actually don't really know whether it's good or not. I haven't really played with the new Cyclone against Hydras. Like, or well, like we quite literally haven't. So I wouldn't know. I want to say it's probably okay. And if we're looking at the macro, guys, we, we are looking pretty okay here. Oh, so many links gonna die once again. That is absolutely massive. There we go. More links dying, guys. It is starting to look like a playable game or something, I want to say. I'm gonna teleport it straight across. 
Uh, and I'm gonna do that because he doesn't have the spire. If he had spire making corruptors, then this would be a different story. But I can just camp here forever. You see, I'm gonna do one Yamato. Don't really like how far forward I yamato with that one, to be fair. But it is what it is. Just need to make sure I don't actually lose them. There we go. Gonna get two more Hydras with that. Gonna start killing the Spores. Gonna get another Hydra. Okay, he's probably gonna get upgrades for the Hydras, I want, I guess. Can we get another one? Not yet. I mean, for the Spores, I do actually have to run. The Spores are terrifying. Let's see, what's it gonna be? Cyclone upgrade. Okay, so I'm going to be playing battle mech here. Uh, I would feel way more confident to move out if we had a wall. The wall missing is really big against Zerg players, guys. The walls, that's what kind of stops them from just clicking links into your base. Because you would just die every time that happens. So we need a wall. Now instead, okay, I do have to check around my base. We're going to kill even more Zerg links. And it looks like we're going to be uh, counterattacked by a really big army here. Okay, this is going to be interesting, guys. I think this could be uh, really, really good for us as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to make sure that I don't mess this one up. Okay, got a couple lock-ons there. Gonna maybe kill a couple Hydras. I need these BCs to be repaired more than anything else. Here, you guys go here. Yeah, I might lose the base. You see, I'm just gonna try repair that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in. He's just right-picking the base, which is not the best choice here, I think. He's kind of surrounded here, guys. I got BCs coming in. He's still trying to target the base, but these BCs are gonna take care of all of the Hydras. And this is looking absolutely massive for us right now. He's gonna lose all of these. He's trying his best, uh, you know, to kill and... The, the SEVs, the combat center. Oh my god, this game is getting so epic. I don't even really know how to speak anymore. This is getting crazy. I have four BCs and my opponent just lost... Oh, I guess I'll pull these back because I'm the one that pulled those. I'm not going to split them on the gas, though. I'll let my teammate do that. But oh my goodness, guys. We just defended an attack by the Zerg. He didn't have that many drones, but we also only have 48 SEVs at this point. I wish we had another battlecruiser on the way. That would be so freaking massive. Let's see. Our opponent could totally have a... Uh, fourth base over here. Does he know fourth base? Okay, it kind of seems like we're playing against an all-in here. I'm gonna do a scan. I don't really, still not sure. I don't think it counts as macroing though, but I guess I guess we'll, we'll see in the, in the comments later on. Okay, she's so gonna go for a counter-attack, and I'm pretty much all-in here at this point. I do have a couple Cyclones. Let's see. Okay. Gonna do a couple more Yamatos. These Cyclones are doing a lot of work here, guys. And Cyclones are very bad against Zerglings, though. And we're very deep now. Like, this is the attack that we're gonna have to win with. I'm gonna be able to kill those Spore Crawlers pretty fast, I think. There we go. Okay, he's gonna try to go forward. If he targets the BCs, the Cyclones are gonna do an amazing amount of damage here. This fight is super, super close here, guys. I would love to drop deals to heal this battle cruisers right now. That would be very, very cool. But I don't know if we have, we have the energy for it. He's going to lose a couple more hydras. One of those is going to die. There's a couple more battle cruisers still. I'm going to rally the rest of the cyclones across. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this game ever got this this freaking tense, guys. I'm getting a lot of overlords here. And a lot of misrallied zerglings. Or uh, hydras, rather. Okay. He's probably going to try to target one of these BCs. So I need to make sure that I uh, can't quite escape with that one. So at this one, I'm going to teleport it out probably, but I'm checking for now. I do have a bunch of mech units showing up. I really wish that we had another battle cruiser here. Let's see. What does he have over here? Probably a bunch of hydras. Okay. If the battle cruiser tanks, that would really be the dream for us. Getting the battle cruiser to tank would be everything for me. Okay, so we're going to kill a bunch of hydras. The BC is still alive, guys. We have more Hellions coming in as well. I guess at this point, I'll hold position uh, the battle cruiser over here because it's just going to keep killing things for free until too many hydras spawn. Let's just make sure I actually do target the hydras. I still have Hellions alive as well. Oh my goodness, we're going to kill the entire mineral line here. And I imagine my opponent has been... Uh, macroing at home at least that is the job of my teammate here this one battle cruiser is going completely uncontested guys there might be another base on the bottom left i'm gonna go check for it let's see i'm gonna kill the last drone i think okay there is a base there but yeah oh it doesn't have any drones that is absolutely beautiful i don't think we have blue flame we do have an armor now because i can't transform them into hell bats let's see there is no base here how's the worker count looking we have 43 workers which is basically two base saturation but the main bases are starting to run out completely so that is really really good for us now at this point i think it would be nice for me to do another scan look it looks so weird for me scanning because i don't have it hotkeyed I just keep having to go back to my base and just pull down a scan. I think now we should actually take it easy. Okay, let's see. He's going to have... No, I think I'm going to run away with this. If he, yeah, I'm just going to teleport over here. I think I think it's just the best plan I have. Um, he, okay, I do need to take care of that base. He could just send all of his drones there, and that would be uh, quite annoying, I have to say. 
So I'm gonna repair this BC. And then I'm gonna go across with all of my Hellions. Hellions, by the way, if you guys don't know, are super good against Hydras. Like, really, really, really good against Hydras. Uh, so, at least if they're stacked. If they're stacked, they are. So, oh, we have a fourth bait, man. I wish we had a couple more SUVs. If we were building SUVs all this time instead of units, we would be absolutely buzzing. Uh, but our economy is not that great right now. I do think I can send this battle cruiser across. Let's see. I'm gonna start rallying the factories back here again. Oh, that's a lot. I have a lot of cyclones here, guys. That is not the right move, I think, for him. These cyclones are gonna do such a good job. He's gonna lose all of those hydras to the cyclones plus the battle cruiser. And then I have my Hellions that are gonna be running into his base. And we have done it. We beat a Grandmaster player with Silver League macro. I didn't think it was possible, guys. I swear I thought we were going to lose against a diamond. What's the upgrades like 1-1? One, one. Here you can see we did. We are definitely behind in upgrades. We didn't have 1-1 one, one against 1-1. One, one. We beat a 5.5k random Grandmaster player with Silver League macro. That is absolutely insane. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to participate in challenges like this yourself, make sure to join the discord in the description my brain's a little fried after all that don't don't blame me but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i had a great time this was fantastic we should get a video like subscribe to the channel and to see you all for the next video adios